Welcome to SuperSign Simple Editor Tutorial. SuperSign Simple Editor was designed with one thing in mind, to bring simplicity back to the complexity of digital signage. In this video, you will see a step-by-step -step guide to creating, distributing, and managing your content for your daily signage needs. After starting the application, the program will take you to the landing page, where it gives you an option to create new content or create and distribute playlist. You can begin creating or editing your content by clicking the Create Content box on the left side. If saved content already exists and you simply want to distribute via a USB memory stick or the network, you may go straight to the Create and Distribute playlist on the right. Let's start by creating new content. Click on the bottom left box where it says Create Content. You will see a collection of 44 available templates to choose from, along with an option to import content you have stored already. These templates come with SuperSign Simple Editor and are consisted of 42 customizable screens with 22 supporting video or live TV signals, one full TV screen, and one full image screen. Although each template can be customized to fit most types of content, they can be sorted by basic theme such as bars and restaurants to help find the right template. Now, let's pick a template and explore the options. Select a template and click Next. All of the following fields can be customized. 1. Add text, overlap text in image area. 2. Text area, size, style, color, flow effects. 3. Image Area, Insert Image File, JPEG, PNG, GIF, BMP. 4. TV Video Area, Insert Video File or Live TV Signal. 5. Background, Background Color and or Pattern. Once you are finished with editing, clicking Preview button will show your content in full screen to give you a better feel of how it will look on an actual display. If you are satisfied with your new content, Click on Create and Distribute Playlist to distribute your content. Step 1. Create Content Replace default text with your own. You can customize the style of your text with Provided Text Wizard. You can also add marquee effect and set the speed of text flow. Click on Delete button on the top right of the text box to delete. To add a new box, click Add a text box, then click where you want to add text. Text boxes can only be placed within predefined text area or as an overlay within an image area. To edit the image area, place the cursor on the default image and click the Delete button on the top right corner. Click the blank image box to import a new image file. Crop and align your image using the Cut button. To move the image file, drag and drop the image in the direction shown to complete. To insert a video file, double-click on the Video TV area or click on Open button on top right corner. Once a video file is selected, your file will appear as a still image until distributed on TV screen. 
On this area, you can watch TV by connecting to TV signal instead of inserting a video file. Lastly, background color or pattern can be customized to match the context of your content. Once you are finished with editing, clicking Preview button will show your content in full screen to give you a better feel of how it will look on an actual display. Step 2. Create a playlist. Now that you have created content, let's move on to create a playlist. Before we move on, you may want to create multiple templates if you want more than one content on your playlist. You can import saved content to create a playlist. After adding content to a playlist, you can change each template's playing time and order. Default playing time is 60 seconds. Selecting content added in a playlist displays the playing time and playback position of the content in your playlist. You can change playback position of content by dragging and dropping to a different position. Clicking Preview lets you preview the playlist you are currently working on in a slideshow format. Note that playing duration between templates does not show in preview mode and video files will be shown as still images. Step 3. Distribute Playlist Network Setting Click the Setting menu for Network Setting. The Server Setup tab in the Setting menu lets you enter information about the SuperSign W or Light Server and log into and log out of the server. You can check the server IP on the SuperSign W or Light and insert the IP address. Once you have created a playlist, you are now ready to distribute. There are three methods for distribution. Upload to server, distribute via the network, and export to a USB memory stick. Upload to server allows you to upload your playlist to the server. Choose the corresponding workgroup and execute the upload. If you have been logged out of the server, server settings window will appear. Network distribution lets you distribute your playlist over the network. Choose the corresponding workgroup and execute distribution. If you have been logged out of the server, server settings window will appear. Click distribution status to check the status of your content distribution. Export USB lets you export your playlist to a USB memory stick. When plugged into compatible SuperSign TV model, Stored Playlist will play automatically.